Hi, everybody. I'm Mike Smith for Litter Media Special Edition for Pickaway County. Today, we're talking with Nick Pruitt of the Pickaway Community Action Commission, here to discuss an effort that they have undergoing to create a mobile hygiene center that will help the homeless in that community. It's called Soap and Hope. Our interview is brought to you today by Pickaway Ross Career and Technology Center. Back with Nick Pruitt right after this. Find a career you love with Pickaway Ross Adult Education. Skilled trades careers are in high demand with no signs of slowing down. Pickaway Ross offers career training programs with expert instructors and hands-on learning tactics to create a variety of opportunities. Visit our website for more information. Nick Pruitt of Pickaway Community Action Commission back with us. Uh, soap and Hope, how did this idea come about? Yeah, uh, so we know just from communication with some of the homeless in, in the community and then uh, just a lot of the low-income families that we serve uh, through PICA uh, that uh, laundry services um, sometimes aren't always easy to come by. Uh, and then also the need for some hygiene services for the folks that are in some of the homeless camps. Um, never easy to walk into a job interview, uh, you know, if, if you haven't had an opportunity to shower or anything like that. And so we started looking into some opportunities with that. Uh, and stumbled onto an initiative in Scioto County uh, from our partners down there at that community action agency uh, that they had started. And so they have two of these trailers mm -hmm. in operation. Uh, so we went down to visit, made some contacts and, and connections there, and decided this was something that we were going to pursue uh, based on the need that we've heard about in Pickaway County. And so uh, Soap and Hope is is underway, and we're, we're currently raising funds and uh getting ready to, to make a trailer purchase and then start getting that framed out and ready to get it on the road. You said uh, your goal was to get it ready by this summer. Now, is this something that PICA would run or you would lease it out or loan it out to other organizations to use? This, this is something that PICA is going to operate. It's going to be one of our programs through the agency, but our goal is uh, community partnerships, uh, working with local agencies and organizations, um, around the county uh, and then relocating it to those those agencies and organizations, their respective facilities, so that we can make that service available to folks in their region. Mm -hmm. So does the trailer have washing machines, dryers? Is that what it looks like? Yes, yeah, so the, the trailer is going to be equipped with three individual shower units, shower rooms that, that we'll have that also have HVAC connections. So they'll have heat okay. for the wintertime. They'll have AC for the summertime. Uh, and then two... Uh, commercial grade washer and dryer units um, that we're actually learning will likely be powered by propane um, and then uh, a small generator to run the, the electric for the HVAC unit uh, and and really to, to hook the, the unit up it requires just a basic uh, residential garden hose hookup oh, no. um, it's it's that simple it's a tankless hot water heater in the back of the trailer to heat all the water coming in for the, the washers and the showers. Uh, and then it's all gray water. There's no actual wastewater. So uh, in conversation with the necessary individuals, we've learned that we can just run a, a hose to a, any storm drain and, and drain any of the, the water from the unit. With um, the, the turnaround of, of maybe a person needing a shower and, and washing their clothes, what's the estimate uh, of, of time that an individual would need to get all that done so that someone else could come in and use it after that? Yeah, we're, we're figuring somewhere in the area of 30 to 45 mm -hmm. minutes um, at a time, depending. We know uh, from our conversation with friends in Scioto County that uh, they average about 12 to 15 individuals a day that they're able to serve. Uh, and, and the folks that have made use of the service are well aware of that. So they kind of have started planning their schedules around availability of that unit. Um, that's why one of the other things that we've learned, um, the importance of which washer and dryer units we have that would operate a little bit faster than your normal residential grade mm -hmm. units um, so that we can move more people through. So this, uh, this mobile hygiene center, would it go to different locations throughout the, the community on certain days where, where the, the homeless would know, hey, on Tuesday, you're always going to be yep. here. Is that how it works? Yep. Yeah, our goal will be to, to have a calendar out to all of our partner agencies and organizations, uh, our one-on-one -on -one contacts with, with the local homeless community to make sure that everybody is fully aware 
where it's going to be. It's it's also it's a it's a thirty two foot car hauler is mm-hmm. our our platform, right. um, and it is going to be plastered with with some <laughs> graphics and everything. We're we're doing everything we can to make sure it is noticed wherever it is sitting. Now you were telling us uh, before we, we went on the air that um, you just completed your um, it's uh, what they call time. Uh, Time point and time count. Every county does that each year. Mm -hmm. Uh, Is it too early to to tell us approximately how many homeless you have in Pickaway? Yeah, it's it's probably a little premature. We just we just wrapped up about three a.m. this morning, Mm -hmm. (laughs) so we're still pulling all of that data together. Uh, But hopefully, with within a month or so, we'll have an idea because we, you know, we we certainly look at individuals that are living on the land, but then we also take into consideration the shelters, um, folks that are living in their vehicles. Uh, we have contacts within the schools that are keeping us informed on how many students in the school are um, couch surfing or don't have a permanent place of residence, mm-hmm. um, you know, and they're between relatives and whatnot. So we, we take our time pulling all that information together that we were, we're painting an accurate portrait for the community and for our partners to know how we can work together to try and come up with a solution for the problem. Just from casual observation uh, with the different agencies that you work with your own agency. Uh, do you have the feeling that there are more than maybe you had last year? The status quo? Where are we? It's, it's something we're definitely seeing an uptick in, um, you know, with, with uh, the housing market, the way it is availability of housing in this area, rent rates are increasing significantly. We've also had a number of landlords that have decided they're just, Done with rentals, you know, and with, with the housing market the way it is and the, the prices that houses are going for, it makes way more sense for them to just sell it and be out from under it. Um, so we're, we're really starting to see some of that. We had a, a lot of rental assistance money to help folks through the pandemic. Mm-hmm. But now that that is coming to an end, uh, we know those programs are coming to an end well. So really kind of um, there's, there's a lot of concern right now over what it's going to look like as summer approaches and as those programs come to an end, how that's, that's going to impact things. Are you finding in Pickaway County that uh, the majority of the homeless population is there because of an addiction problem? Uh, or is it just a social economic situation that has nothing to do with addiction in itself? I think if I had to rank them in order... I'm, I'm going to, I would say number one would probably be mental health issues. Um, number two would probably be your social economic issues. Uh, and then three, actually the very bottom of the list is going to be your, your addiction issues. Right. Uh, we've, we've got, you know, some mental health service providers in the county. We've got addiction uh, recovery uh, providers in the county that are doing everything they can. You know, we're in constant communication with them. Um, and, and really trying to connect the, the homeless community with those services. Uh, but the number of people, the, the, mm. the need far outweighs right. the services that are available to us right now. What kind of uh, connection or relationship do you have with, for example, Sayuta Paint Battle of Mental Health, uh, uh, Adam H., uh, the faith community at yeah. PICA to help you with some of these projects. Yeah, so we, we work hand-in-hand with, with Scioto Paint Valley, uh, Hope Valley Recovery Services, PARS. They're all partners of ours. The Covering uh, in, in Pickaway County are partners of ours. Um, all really trying to, I think PICA probably a lot of times serves as the entry point right. for, for a lot of folks, um, but just really trying to connect those dots as we as we're able to provide services that kind of meet some of the economical needs of, of the individual or the family unit, um, then we can, our case managers do really well to kind of learn what else is going on within the family unit to get them connected to those services. As far as the faith community, uh, we, get, we get a lot of support from the faith community. I myself pastor in the community. And so my, my role at PICA and then my role as a pastor in the community have really been able to kind of intertwine those and, and also intertwine my connections from those two worlds to to really kind of pull the resources together and have a really good understanding of, of what's available and then also what, what we need to work on and what we need to improve. I think um, in Chillicothe, Ross County, it's been a number of years uh, that this uh, came about and it sounds like other counties are, are doing the same thing realizing that maybe uh, multiple agencies were duplicating services. So instead of doing that, 
getting together and that way you can spread the resources and yes. cover more people instead of you know doing the same thing yeah absolutely yeah we we spend a lot of time um there's a lot of resource meetings you know we've got our continuum of care meetings that, that happen which um primarily center around homeless uh, services for homeless individuals uh, but then we've also got uh, service provider meetings that, w- that we do with our partners at JFS, uh, our partners with Family Children First Council, uh, the Ministerial Association in Circleville has kind of got some new life and, and we're trying mm-hmm. to, and, and so then just trying to, as we hear those conversations and, and have those conversations, pulling all of that together, pick a, we do a community needs assessment uh, every two years that we, we blast out to the community just to say, hey, yeah. what do you need? Right. You're, you're the ones that are out there. What what can we do to help improve your quality of life? And then we'll bring that data from the assessment. And then that's how we determine a lot of our programs at PICA or determine, hey, we don't need to do this because this agency's doing it. Let's make sure we're making those referrals and getting people over to those services uh, as well so that our, our dollars, so much of our money is restricted, mm-hmm. right? And we have certain guidelines. Um, so if we know who else is you know, who's doing what else, we're, we're not duplicating those services and, and wasting dollars on things that we could be doing. At the outset, you mentioned that you're still tra- uh, trying to raise some funds for this mobile hygiene center. Uh, how would uh, any individual or uh, an entity, uh, organization, civic organization, whatever, be able to contribute? Yeah, so um, uh, pica.info, I-N-F-O, is our website. There's a donation option on the website. Uh, they can always call the agency and, and speak to me. And if, if a paper check is the way you want to go, then we can accept that as well. Um, right now, we're, we're collecting funds to purchase the vehicle that will tow the trailer around the county. Uh, and then we know that ongoing, um, we're estimating probably somewhere in the ballpark of $60,000 a year annually to to operate the unit and to keep it on the road so we're also looking at other programs Um, they refer to it as braiding the funding so we're looking at other programs that the agency operates where we could have an individual that knows those but then also also operates this this hygiene unit and the hygiene unit can kind of serve as a really good uh, gateway uh, to the other services that we and other agencies have to offer of course, I am assuming that any donation made is tax deductible. Yes, absolutely. Yeah, we can get a receipt for folks or, or any information that they would need for that purpose and, and take care of that as well. Nick, anything else about the program you want to touch on before we close? Uh, no, I just want to thank the community for getting behind this the way they have. This is, you know, we we started this and, and as word started getting out, it's just been meeting after meeting and conversation after conversation with folks that that are excited about it and and want to do everything they can to support it so just want to thank the the pickaway county community circleville all our other partner agencies that are that are getting involved in this with us um and it's it's going to be they say it takes a village right right. so we've got the village coming together to take (laughs) care of the village and it's it's exciting to be a part of again uh, nick pruitt of the uh, pickaway community action commission talking about their effort to put together this new mobile hygiene center for pickaway county's homeless community it's called soap and hope if you'd like to get involved find out more about how you can contribute you can contact the pickaway community action commission for more information. Our interview today brought to you by Pickaway Ross Career and Technology Center. I'm Mike Smith.